Hello, Kamatuklas! Welcome back sa isa na namang pagtuklas ng aralin sa mathematics. Given that we have this figure, what are you going to do if I ask you to find the measures of the interior and exterior angles? This presentation is about solving problems involving sides and angles of a polygon. So let's start knowing about this by examples. Consider that we are going to work on with this. Find the number of sides of a polygon if the sum of the measures of the interior angles is 4,500 degrees. So we are going to let the number of sides be n. So again, n will be the number of sides of the polygon that we are talking about. And remember that with our previous video, we said that the sum of the interior angles is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. That is the representation. Since we have already the representation of the sum of the interior angles, we can say that n minus 2 times 180 degrees will be equal to 4,500 degrees because that's the sum of the measure of the interior angles. Then we can now apply algebraic manipulation. n times 180 degrees and negative 2 times 180 degrees. Let's start one at a time. n times 180 degrees, that will be equal to 180 degrees n. Then we have negative 2 times 180 degrees. That will be negative 360 degrees. So we have 180n minus 360 degrees, which is equal to 4,500 degrees. Then after that, applying addition property of equality, this will be here. So we are going to transfer uh, negative 360 degrees to this side. So we just copy 180 degrees n. So that will be equal to 4,500 degrees. So we change the sign. That become plus 360 degrees. Then perform the indicated operation. Copy first this. Then perform the operation. 4,500 degrees plus 360 degrees is equal to 4,860 degrees. Then since we're looking for n, so we can now divide both sides by 180 degrees so that we can cancel out this already. Okay, so both sides. Therefore, n, because we cancel out this already, is equal to 4,860 degrees divided by 180 degrees is equal to 27. So we, therefore, the number of sides of the polygon that we are talking about with this problem is 27. Okay, there's a lot way for you to determine uh, the answer with this problem. Another way is we will be using the same process. So we use the formula which is equivalent to 4,500 degrees. Thing that we are going to do with this process is to divide immediately both sides by 180 degrees so that we can cancel this out. This is another process for us to determine the answer. Uh, the remaining part of this is n minus 2. This is 4,500 divided 180 degrees is equal to 25. Then we are going to apply addition property of equality with this. Hence, we have n is equal to 25. Apply addition property of equality, magiging plus 2. And n is equal to 25 plus 2. That will be 27, which is the same answer in our first process. Again, you can do any process with this kind of problem. Let's have another one. How about find the sum of all the interior angles of 50-sided polygon? So with this, again, so given that n is equal to 50, with the first problem, we look for what is the side this time. 
sides is given. So the number of sides is 50. Then since we are looking for the sum of the interior angle, so we will be using the same formula which is quantity n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Again, that is the formula that we use for us to determine the sum of all the interior angles. Hence, we are going to work on with this n minus 2. We have this formula. So we are going to work on by substituting the value of n since, since n is given. So n minus 2 times 180 degrees. And 50 minus 2, that's 48 times 180 degrees. When you multiply that, the answer is 8,640 degrees. Therefore, the sum of the interior angles of a polygon having 50 sides is 8,640 degrees. Okay, so I hope you follow. We have the next example. How many sides does this polygon have if its exterior angle measure 20 degrees? Again, we're talking of exterior angle. So again, we're looking for the sides. So let us work on with that again. So we'll be doing the same process. Since one of the ex exterior angle is given and we said that this is the formula that we'll be using for us to determine the exterior angle. So that will be equal to 20 degrees because that's the formula in determining the exterior angle. So we have this. So multiply both sides by n. Reason behind so that we can cancel this out. So we have 360 degrees which is equal to 20 degrees times n is 20 degrees n. Then we divide both sides by 20 degrees since we are looking for n so that we can cancel out this part. So n is equal to 360 degrees divide 20 degrees, that will be equal to 18. Therefore, the polygon has 18 sides. Let's have another example. The exterior angles of a quadrilateral are quantity x plus 3 degrees, quantity 2x plus 1 degrees, quantity 3x plus 4 degrees and quantity 4x plus 2 degrees respectively. Find the measure of each angle. So let's start working with that. So the sum of all the exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degrees. Therefore, this will happen. So our representation is equal to 360 degrees. Since we have mentioned that the sum of the exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degrees. So we have this. So we add all the representation presented as the degree of the exterior angles. Then we are going to uh, add like terms. So we have x plus 2x plus 3x plus 4x. And we have 10x. Then, then 3 plus 1 plus 4 plus 2. And that will be equal to 10. And that is equivalent to 360 degrees. So let's have the next one. So what happened is we are going to copy 10x. Then applying addition property of equality, this become negative 10 degrees. Okay. I put again the degrees. Then we have this. Then 360 degrees minus 10, that will be 350 degrees. Then divide both sides by 10. So this will be cancelled out already. This part. Okay, hence 350 degrees divide 10, that will be equal to 35 degrees. That is just the value of x. But what we are looking for is to find the measure of each angle. So one at a time, so let's start. So x is equal to 35 degrees. As we computed a while ago, then let's start with the first representation, quantity x plus 3 degrees. So by substitution, x is equal to 35 degrees, 35 plus 3, that will be 38 degrees. So that is the first angle that is represented by x plus 3. Then the next one is the quantity 2x plus 1 degrees. So we are going to substitute x, which is 35 degrees plus 1. Then 2 times 35 is 70 plus 1. Then that will be 70 plus 1 is 71 degrees. That is the second angle represented by this. The third angle, which is quantity 3x plus 4 degrees. So by substitution again, we copy 3x is 35 plus 4. 
3 times 35 is 105 plus 4 degrees. And 105 plus 4, that will be 109 degrees. That will be the third angle. The last representation is 4x plus 2 or quantity 4x plus 2 degrees. By substitution again, 4 times 35 plus 2, 4 times 35 is 140 plus 2. Then when we add that, that is 142 degrees. Since we said that the sum of the exterior angle is 360 degrees, so when we add 38 degrees plus 71 degrees plus 109 degrees plus 142 degrees, that is equal to 360 degrees. Therefore, the exterior angles of the quadrilateral are 38 degrees, 71 degrees, 109 degrees, and 142 degrees. That's all. Come out to class. God bless.